Hey everybody, welcome back. Big week last week. We're going to unpack some of the headlines and look at the economic trends and market insights that are affecting the financing and the housing market. So from inflation, housing sales, job market shifts, we got you covered. So let's get right into it. All right, first up, let's talk about inflation. The October Personal Consumption Expenditures, or PCE, showed that headline inflation remained flat, with year-over-year figure dropping from 3.4% to 3%. The core PCE, which excludes food and energy prices, rose by 0.2% in October. This is great news because it shows inflation is gradually cooling, moving closer to that Federal Reserve's target percent of 2%. So what does that mean? Well, it could signal a potential pause in the Fed's rate hike, something we'd, we'll, we'll really find out on December 13th. So keep your eye open at that as it could significantly impact the economy and your wallet. Moving on to the housing market, pending home sales took a hit, falling 1.5% from September to October, hitting their lowest level in over two decades. This dip is a direct result of higher mortgage rates and tight housing inventory. Lawrence Yoon from National Association of Realtors pointed out that boosting housing supply is vital for meeting the pent-up demand. So if you're in the market for home, this is crucial information you need to be considering. There's some confusion in the media about new home sales. Despite a 5.6% drop in October, the pace of signed contract is still strong compared to last year. But here's what's misunderstood. While the median sales price for new homes dropped, it doesn't necessarily mean that home prices are declining. It's more about the mix of sales shifting towards lower priced starter homes. Remember, the context is key when interpreting these numbers. Despite the market's ups and downs, home values remain robust. Indices like the K-Shiller, FHFA, show consistent gains in home prices, hitting new all-time highs. This means home ownership continues to be a solid investment for building wealth. If you're a homeowner or you're looking to become one, this is reassuring news in an otherwise volatile market. Lastly, let's touch on the job market. Continuing jobless claims have reached a two-year high, indicating some challenges in the labor market. I think we all see that. This trend suggests that it's becoming tougher for people to find employment after being let go. It's an important indicator to watch, especially if you're navigating career changes for, or job hunting, clearly. All right, that wraps up our dive into last week's key economic headlines. Remember, staying informed is crucial in these fluctuating times. Whether you're investing, buying a home, or planning your career moves, if you found this information helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more insights and updates. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video where we'll continue to navigate the economic landscape together. Stay informed, stay savvy, take care, and that's another guaranteed update.